Alex Perez versus Mateus Nicolau. Uh, dude, first thing I noticed, the combinations from Mateus Nicolau, lightning fast, man. There's, you yeah. know, there's one where uh, Alex Perez goes up, you know, straight up the middle with a teep kick, and then Mateus countered, boom, boom, right, left mm -hmm. hook, really quick. And Alex yeah. Perez backs up, and he was like, what just well, hit me right now? And that's actually a good point because the, the main thing I want to say, well, to preface this too, uh, Perez took this on short notice. Manel Cop was supposed to fight Nicolau in the rematch. <sighs> Keep him the first time, but the judges robbed him. And then he uh, robbed himself of this one by not making it to the fight. But Perez took it. He just had a, a, a quick loss against um, Muhammad Makayev. He said, I want to get mm -hmm. back in there quick. Uh, bounce back win. That's how you do it, right? Uh, there's a lot of fighters who lose and they want to the, – the time spent off a loss – needs to be cut short and that's how you do it you step in on short notice and you take a guy out but one of the things that the, the biggest thing that i noticed about this in the story of this fight uh if you want to say it um is nicolau is a really good counter striker and he's really good at making reads uh mm -hmm. and he's really good at fainting get a react getting a reaction out of you reading that reaction and then countering the reaction so that he can faint later and then he knows your reaction, and then he's going to counter you. That's something he does extremely well. But I think that was his downfall in this fight. Mm. It's something that he's real slick with it. But if you can, if you're fighting a guy like that who's very good at making reads and making adjustments mid-fight, the best thing you can do is to just overwhelm them with variety and overwhelm them or, or overstimulate them and make them just they're just stuck doing calculations because. Like you said, the counters were quick, but Perez through the whole fight was just blitzing him with different combinations, inside leg kicks, outside leg kicks, uh, the front kick to the body. Like he was just, he was mixing it up so well that you're just like, how do you make reads if you're just getting thrown a bunch of books? You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and that really started more in the second round from Perez, right? When he yeah. came out and really started mixing it up really well. Like you said, going to the body, finally mm -hmm. lands an overhand right that uh, rocked uh, Nicolau. Yeah, it did. And then your yeah. boy retreated real quick. He starts <laughs> yeah. backing up. Uh, and then uh, when he starts, when he gets up against the fence and he starts trying to circle up against the fence, a lot easier at that point for Perez to be able to land this shot, right? Yeah, definitely. Uh, and it, I, I felt like it was just so beautifully set up. You know, you see Perez as Nicolau is circling to his left. Perez kind of like just taps, taps with mm -hmm. the right, taps with the left, and then just comes. And then the real boom. one. Big right hook, yeah. right, and catches mm -hmm. uh, Nicolau right on the jaw, and down goes Nicolau. Yeah, I mean, he put him out. Uh, yeah. I think there's a picture of the shot that lands, the, the short right hook that lands. Uh, nice. And then the follow-up of him. It's never good when you can kiss your knee, and that's uh, exactly what happened to old Nicolau there. Uh, he went down, down. Uh, <laughs> <the> switching. Yeah. <laughs> uh, HB Comer, shout out HB Comer says Will's name is missing on screen. I believe it's always oh, missing no. when we have the slideshows up. I think the uh, text that has the names of the fighters cover it. Um, oh yeah, yeah. There it is. I think that's what happens. Good off. Uh, but thank you. Uh, HB hey, Comer, shout out HB Comer. He's always trying to improve the show. I know. I love. You it. know. I respect. I love it. it. Um, I love it. But yeah, uh, Perez looked fantastic. This is somebody who I did not see this coming from him if i'm being honest just because um i think i mean he's got like the most canceled fights in ufc history right it's crazy if you look at his topology page um the last time he got a win was against juicy a formiga remember him that was in 2020 um so like it's just been <laughs> 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 um Okay, I'm excuse uh, Yeah, but but it's just it's been a, a long, tough road for uh, Alex Perez. So it's it's cool to see it because he seems like a good guy. I've always liked him. He's got cool yeah. like leg kick finishes and stuff. Um, he's been doing it forever, man. Yeah. So what's next for him? Uh, I mean, he really. This is a big. This is a huge win, to be honest. Hey. Nicolau was. Th this was maybe a number one contender fight when he was fighting uh, Manel Cap, right? So I think. Um, if Perez I don't think Manel give Cap him a title man? shot. Uh, I think they're trying to do Kai Car France Manel mm. is what they're they're talking about. Um, what what was uh, Nikola ranked eight? Uh, fifth, fifth. What the hell, dude? Perez yeah, was ranked eighth. Okay, that's right. That's what, that's right. Um, so the only folks ahead. Let's say that Perez jumps up to fifth. Now you have Kai Car France, Amir Albazi, he, Brandon Moreno, well, Brandon Royval. Here's a question for you. Before we even talk about who he fights next, 
he just lost to Mohamed Mukayev. Mm -hmm. Does he on Tuesday when they come out the rankings? Does he is he higher ranked than Mukayev despite just losing to him? I mean, you got to right. Mukayev seven. Perez was eight, and he just beat five. Do you think they just jumped Mukayev up to number five and put Alex Perez they, number they, six? I, maybe, but they probably want to keep Manel. They want to keep Manel at six for when he fights Kai Kraut France, and at six versus four, they probably like that. The optics of that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's a tough one. We'll see what yeah. kind of uh, MMA math they come up with. It's the ranking, so who fucking knows? But yeah, who do you see? Who do you see him fight next? Albazi. I mean, why not? Let's do it. Yeah, I'm here for if, it. If, I mean, especially if he jumps up to fifth, you give him number three. Well, the and only from people, there, the only people above him are Makayev, who we just lost to. I yeah. doubt they do a rematch. Okay. Manel, who is fighting Kai Kaikar France. Kai Kaikar France, yeah. Nicolau, who just he beat just him. beat. Kai Kaikar France, who's fighting Manel Cap probably. Albazi or Moreno, that's it. Or Royval, which I they're not going to do that. He just beat Moreno, right? Um, yeah, Royval at this point is probably waiting for the winner. Of uh, yeah. Ersig and he's hoping he's hoping Pantosia. Ersig wins because because yeah. er, they're not going to give him a, a Pantosia but flyweight man I fucking like it yeah I know people All hate right. on it still but it's like dude we just saw a nasty one punch knockout like what more do you want yeah it was a fun fight I like skill it. speed starting to see more power no more Usada yeah. no more you know Usada. let's do it yeah I did you watch uh, Joe Rogan with Max Holloway Holloway was on not the yet. podcast. At the at, at one point, he's like, "Why can't we just be real stringent with hydration and weight with everybody to eliminate weight cutting? Like the stuff they're doing with like drug free sport now, like they're they're like showing up wherever you are and stuff. Like why can't we do that? Weigh people and you're like, drug free sport, dude. That's not a good standard to like <laughs> like pull, dude. <laughs> what are you talking oh, about? Classic. Hey everybody, Ramiro and Will here. Thank you so much for watching that short clip. It's just a small clip of what we covered this last Sunday. Yeah, if you want to check out the full fight card recap, uh, the link is in the description and it's going to be on screen at the end here. Uh, don't forget to go back and watch our fighter interviews that we have. Uh, and don't forget to tune in live every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern. Uh, and you can join in on the fun. Yeah, don't forget to like, subscribe, Hit the notification bell, goes a long way. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that short clip from Story of the Fight.